Last year, I made a video about night diving for lobster. It's probably one of the most effective and efficient ways to catch lobster out there. But a lot of you guys told me in the comments that this was actually illegal. This year, I wanna show you a couple of the comparisons between diving at night and actually bully netting, and maybe debunk the myth that diving at night is illegal in the Florida Keys. Might be wondering why lobster at night at all and the secret is lobster are actually much more active at night lobster that live in the biscayne national park marine sanctuary migrate out to the open ocean at night and there's only a couple of places that they can actually do this so by targeting those places it's almost like a funnel of migrating lobster most people that lobster at night do what's called bully netting bully netting requires really strong underwater lights that are typically mounted on the bow of a boat and these big nets that are on poles that you can push down around the lobster on the bottom. The lobster then shoot off into the net and then you can pull them up into the boat. The issues with bully netting is when it's not windy, the mosquitoes are awful. And if it is windy, typically there's a lot of ripples on the surface of the water, which makes it difficult to see the lobster. Also, if the water's murky, it's also difficult to see the lobster. Another limitation is typically only two people can bully net from one boat at once. And to do it right, you need a boat that you can drive from the bow, which is pretty expensive and your typical person doesn't have. So instead of going through all of the hassle of bully netting, why not just grab a flashlight in the dive gear you already have and just jump in and catch the lobster? This is exactly what me and my family have done for years, literally since as long as I can remember. The real question is this, was all this legal? If you can see on the FWC page here, it does say that night diving is prohibited in Monroe County only during sports season. Where we are right now is actually in Monroe County, but it's regular season. It's late August now, so free rain. Now what we do during mini season is we actually drive up further north to Miami-Dade County and lobster. Perfectly legal, and we still catch lots of lobster doing it. So if this is perfectly legal, is it safe? What we do to ensure the safety of our divers is make sure that the dive flag is lit at all times. Also, our divers have this very bright light on so that other boats can see the divers in the water. It's also necessary to see the lobster. The third thing we do is make sure that there's someone very experienced at the wheel of the boat, keeping the boat very close to the divers, not only so that other boats can see the dive flag, but also so that our divers can throw lobster in the boat. All right guys, so we just got suited up and we're about to hop in the water and see if we can't limit out real quick.
driving on that drift. We're halfway there. Dad's gonna hop in so we can get his six and we're out of here. We might be half an hour in. Hey guys, it's Milan here and I'm gonna give you some tips if you're really trying to get into the night diving for lobster. I'm coming in here to pick up this nice lobster and I put the light in his face, which makes his antenna go forward. It gives him a little bit of deer and headlights effect and I came in way too fast and it made him bolt off. So as you can see here, I came in too hot, too far away and it pushed the water up against him and he sensed it and he ran off. This is a better way of doing it. You really need to get make sure you get the light in their face so that they push their antennas forward and then when you go to grab them, it's more like you're kind of pinning them to the ground rather than just picking them up off the floor. You're gonna see it here real quick, bam. Kind of pin them to the ground and then really get a hold of them. I'm excited there with my little fist pump. Hold up. Doubled up, baby. We're running pretty good right now. Uh, we're probably gonna get our limit in the next 30 minutes here, so stay tuned. say like an hour maybe yeah. but uh not too bad and the bullion editors are still out here so some nice ones <laughs> yeah we got some pretty some pretty good studs in there we're gonna pack up throw the dive gear back in the boat and go home and get a good night's sleep but thanks for watching guys